We start this hour with the latest on the fight against official corruption in China. And new figures show that 129 senior officials at a prefectural level or higher were investigated for suspected corruption and bribery in the first eight months of 2013. And the data which comes from the Supreme People's Procuratorate shows that on average, one senior official is charged nearly every two days over this period. And prosecutors across the country investigated over 22,500 corruption cases between January and August. And that's 3.6 percent higher than the same period last year. And more than 7,000 cases were initiated based on reports by the public with the wrongdoing often exposed via social media. Around 80 percent of the cases were classified as serious, an increase of 5.7 percent on last year. And the Chinese leadership has intensified anti-corruption efforts this year and vowed to go after both high-ranking and low-level corrupt officials. And the Vice Party Secretary of the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection of the Communist Party of China has held an online discussion with netizens about the Commission's role and future development. And Wu Yuliang says uh, the Commission has always been unwavering in combating corruption and rooting out corrupt CPC members. And the Commission's uh, predecessor, Party Affairs Committee, was established in 1934 before the founding of New China. It was set up to prevent party members violating party rules and engaging in corruption. It also supervises the education of party members and punishment of rule breakers. And party members suspected of corruption, dereliction of duty or breaking with a party line are liable to appear before a discipline inspection commission.